Hello, I'm Thomas Grillo, and today I am proud to bring you the latest addition to the B series of theremins by SoundsLikeBurns.com. What we're looking at here is a B series theremin called the B3 Pro, and it's called that for a couple of good reasons. Like its predecessor, it features the multi segmented telescoping pitch rod and the wedge shaped volume loop. Only unlike the uh, B3, the volume loop is silver plated on the B3 Pro. No more tarnishing from age or constant use. Uh, the B3 Pro also features a beautifully handcrafted wooden cabinet, cherry. A couple of nice features about the uh, B3 Pro is the power supply is removable. You can unplug it now. It's no longer permanently attached. Another nice feature of the B3 Pro are these two knobs for your volume and pitch. And if you'll notice, they are kind of reminiscent of a certain theremin that is no longer produced, but we've come to know and miss. The B3 Pro has the same sound as the original B3, just has a very nice, pleasant, soft string-like tone, and I'll be demonstrating that momentarily. The B3 Pro has a very high range as well as the very low range. I estimate that the B3 Pro has five easy to access octaves, and you could make it six, uh, almost six, uh, six octave range. That's quite a wide range for the for the instrument. Another nice feature of the B3 Pro is the length of the cabinet. The cabinet is about 18 inches long, which allows us to spread the pitch field out wide enough to make accessing the high notes, well, any note within the range of the of, of the uh, instrument, much more easily. And we can do that without putting our volume hand at risk of interacting with the pitch field. Another nice feature of the B3 Pro is the mute switch, which you've just seen me use a couple of times. The mute switch, unlike other instruments where you might hear a switch throw in the middle of a mic recording, you know, where you use an open mic, the B3 Pro uses a touch plate. And all you have to do is just make sure you're touching the volume loop at the same time so that the instrument is muted at all times. Touch the touch plate, and this LED turns green. You're in play mode. Touch it again. The LED turns red, and you're in mute mode. Now I'm going to demonstrate the instrument's playability with a piece by Franz Liszt called Leis Flehen Mein Lieder.
thank you and have a good day